Hi guys, Mr. Keith here and I wanted to give you an overview of how to study for O levels because a lot of people are asking revision questions. How to revise, right? What paper should I do? So this is in revision of the paper 2, which will be on 4th November for 2024. First, most highest priority, TYS yearly paper 2. Please use our TYS answers, not the one in the assessment book, which is very lousy. It will teach you the wrong thing. It will make you write wrong answers. Uh, it will have lack of keywords. Okay, so then you're training for the wrong thing, right? So please use our TYS answers. And for those people who are not even our students, right? In our Telegram channel, if they join, uh, they can actually find a link in the pinned message for the TYS answers. So it, we have all these, okay? And we're actually updating them to make it accurate to 2024. Because even though the past TYS years, right, was a, a old syllabus, and so I shouldn't change the answer because then it's not accurate to that year anymore. But I still... I uh, want to just highlight what we will write if it was this year's uh, 2024 syllabus. So an example we've done already. 2023 um, is done already. 2022, here's an example. We've shaded out the questions that are not in syllabus. And then for this, right, we don't change anything except stuff that, you see, this we could write in previous years, but now we don't, okay, because it's not in syllabus anymore. Okay, let me find any other example. So a lot of things in this paper wasn't changed because it's still applicable. Okay, yeah, so you see, there are some stuff here which we removed because in 2024 syllabus, you don't learn it. Yep, so that's about it. And if we change the answer, right, especially those questions on responses to temperature change, um, the hair erector muscles point is no longer in syllabus. So we will be editing that. And if possible, we'll add a new point to make up for that, that loss of a point. Okay, so basically use our answers because we're going to update it for you. And we're going to even show you the difference, like how we will answer it imagining we are using 2024 syllabus okay, because i think that's what you all specifically need also so yes use our ty's answers we're updating it for you okay next one save all the paper one for after 4th november after the paper 2 exam because you will have one week actually to to grind paper one and paper one is the easiest and the fastest to improve at so don't waste your time now you have other subjects to study for you have paper two to study for and paper three also so please save the paper ones for later okay also some people ask should i redo the ty's yearly uh, I would say no, the benefit is too low. Okay, instead move on to the other things which I'm going to show you here. Okay, next one is CAQ. So if you are a relatively new student who have joined us, then you wouldn't have done the CAQs challenge yet, which we put every new student through. So do this because it builds up your database, your bank of all the common questions and their model answers with all their keywords. So I show you this is an example here, right? Development of features. Okay, I screenshotted. There's actually more points, uh, but this is a very standard question that they ask of sequence of events after fertilization, okay, and how the fetus develops, how the umbilical cord placenta develops, amniotic sac. So all those things, right, the implantation process, it's a very, very standard answer and it comes out frequently. So it would do you very well to study that. So CAQs, <clears throat> okay, and in fact, these two, I would do them together in conjunction simultaneously because this builds up your database, right? Which you will deploy when you actually do the questions. So if you do this first and then you do this, it's kind of like um, putting the cart before the horse. So at this stage, right, it's quite late already. I wouldn't do all the CAQs first, then do all the TYS yearly because then I have no time for the TYS yearly. So since it's at this late stage already, we have to do both simultaneously, okay? And then some of you will be like, wow, there's actually 18 chapters. We have so many CAQs that we compiled painstakingly for you. And yes, it's very useful, but there's just too many. Okay, and you have no time, what to do? Our first thing is I would order my revision schedule. I wouldn't go down the topics. I would choose which are my hardest, worst topics. Like example, reproduction in humans, I'll put it as the first. Or transport in humans, I'll put it as the first. Like, and then what, whichever is the worst, you put it as the first. So that when you go through your revision plan of the CAQs, right? And you end up, oh, I don't have enough time. It's okay, because at least you did all the hardest ones that you needed the most first. And you can sacrifice the rest. So example, what you can sacrifice is topics one to four. Yeah, so this is our student notes and topics one to four is here, these four, right? These are generally the easier ones which you can sacrifice. Okay, so next one, just do the asterisk questions. Yeah, so I also thought from your point of view and I was like, okay, if I'm a student, I might feel a bit overwhelmed by how many CAQs I have to do, right? Especially if it's near O-levels already. So I put the asterisk to show you that, okay, these are the truly common ones and, and uh, if, if I had to choose, right? to sacrifice other questions, I would not sacrifice this because these are the most important. So what you can do as you are revising our CAQs, for these, which don't have asterisk, right, you can just read the question, think of what you will answer, then read the answer. Okay? 
and still study it, but don't have to write it out. That will save you time. But these ones, I would want you to definitely write it out. The one with the asterisk. Okay, so that's how to revise the CAQs. Okay, what if you are done early? What if you, you have finished and you're like, hey, I'm free, huh? I want to do more practice. Should I do more prelim papers? Okay, you can do that. You can. Though I ask you to take a look at this that we have in our student resources folder for our students. So IGCSE is actually like another syllabus overseas, actually. These papers, right, aren't from Singapore. But there's a lot of overlap of the syllabus. So some parts are out of syllabus, you just don't need to do them, okay? But some parts are in the syllabus and the style of the questions are very similar to TYS. So I think it will benefit you more than prelim papers because prelim papers, the style of the questions is different. Okay, so let me show you an example. Yeah, this is inside our, our student resources. So you go to this one, OEQ. Okay, like let's use this one for example. Okay, see Google's concentration. All this, maintain blood Google. See, all this is within our syllabus, right? Name the compound that's converted to glucose, probably glycogen. Okay, then next one. Um, look at this nitrogen cycle. Do we learn this? No. So what about these legumes? Uh, we don't learn this in our syllabus, right? So you can actually skip this. You can do whatever you can, but you can skip the rest. Then look at this one. Proteins and DNA. What are the roles in cells? Completely in syllabus, right? And also it's something that feels like, wow, I really could see this happening in O-levels. I could see this kind of question style coming out in O-levels. Okay, so it's Closer to the real thing, which is better, it trains you better. So that's my suggestion for more practice. Okay, and just a last tip slash reminder for our students. If you need content revision, you want certain uh, concepts to be retaught to you, which is very normal. We always forget a little bit of stuff or we need clarification. Go to our student resources, Crash Course Clips, and you will find clips of literally anything that you can think of. Like, let's say um, molecular genetics or DNA ver or what alleles, right? Chromosomes, genes, alleles. What are those? I forgot. Yeah. Come here and watch that lesson clip specifically of that thing. Okay, then what if you are not our student? Let's say you still need help with content revision, right? Firstly, download our free notes. Okay, it's at that biotutor.com slash notes. It will be in the link in the description of this video also. Um... And yeah, when you open it up, compared to our, our students, so our students will have the CAQs for topic 7 to 18, right? These are, uh, 7 to 18 is exclusive for our students. They also have all these bonus notes. So if you are not our student, you can still benefit greatly. Like for example, you can go to, let's choose respiration, right? And then revise all the content here. You can also access all our memory shortcuts to help you memorize stuff. Okay, so this, all the content notes, are available to everyone. Hey guys, so if that was helpful for you, then subscribe to our channel. If you'd like to join our O-level pure bio tuition classes, then click the link below or go to thatbiotutor.com.